Hey, hey, hey. Uh, first thing I would like to say is... Yes, I do have matching shirts with Panda. And yes, we are that awesome. He's my best friend. He won't leave me like everyone else. So, um... I've really been wanting to do something about current events, you know, just go over a few news stories, but I generally hate discussing politics uh, like this. I, I love to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people and whatnot, but yeah. So I figure I will have a few drinks, go over a few news articles, and uh, I don't know, maybe I could call it DNN, the Drunk News Network. That's probably already taken, though. Uh, oh, uh, you may notice, my mustache is missing. I had a... an incident with a candle. And uh, the mustache is gone. Pretty sure it'll grow back, though. I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Scrolls of Light coven is a good friend of mine's channel it is very positive and uplifting very interesting channel please check her out um and let's quaff carouses and discuss current events all right first up gwyneth paltrow lovely talented actress pretty lady she decided to start selling a candle that smells like her woo-ha yes a vag scented candle now I thought it was $75 uh, other people have said it's a hundred I didn't bother to fact check cuz it's a vagina scented candle um, I will uh, help you guys out though save you a little money here uh, pick up some ramen noodles from the grocery store. Uh, one shrimp flavored, one chicken flavored. Put those into a pan. Add a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, a tablespoon of vinegar, white vinegar. And then three ounces of bush light beer. And a pinch, just a pinch of black pepper. I warm that up to a simmer and boom now you know what it smells like without having to spend that money also um the candle I had the uh, mustache incident with was not one of her vagina scented candles uh, coconut palm in case you were wondering all right uh, this next one it's not a happy one. Uh, Kobe Bryant lost his life in a helicopter crash. There's been a lot of discussion about whether it's a tragedy or not and about a rape accusation that was sent his way. Um, I don't care what your opinion is. I hate the Lakers. And uh, I was never a Kobe fan. But whether you blame him, love him, whatever. He was a father. He was a husband. And he has gone along with a beautiful young lady. Uh, Gigi. My uh, condolences to anyone who is saddened by this. And anyone who feels the need to choose now is the time to bash him over things uh, read the room you know a month from now it won't be as raw when you start ragging on the guy about stuff just my uh, just my two cents all right from here I'd like to move on to something more positive and uplifting Boxer Manny Pacquiao built a thousand homes for the poor and the needy in the Philippines. 
uh, specifically in the, I apologize if I say it wrong, Serengani region. It's far in the south. Uh, now, Manny, he has a quote here. Uh, sorry. I'm so happy giving these houses free to my constituents in the Serengani province from my own pocket. More than a thousand families will benefit. And I feel what they're feeling because I've been there. I've slept in the street. That was my life before. So hard. That's why I feel what they're feeling right now. Now, Manny Pacquiao, he grew up extremely poor. Often he would sleep in a cardboard box or on straw mats. He had a very rough life. He had to miss most of his schooling because he was trying to make money to help his mother feed, their, feed the family. And he went on to become one of the greatest boxers of all time. He has held the title in 12 different weight categories, I believe, if I'm wrong. Sorry. He is currently serving as a senator in the Philippines. He's very active and does a lot of good for the community. So, here's to you, Manny. All right, next up is a very serious story. Uh, an Indonesian housewife is going to provide a home for 250 cats, feral, wild cats that have been in the street with diseases and they're feral. So I don't, while I absolutely respect this lady's love for animals, now I don't see much good coming from this. Uh, best, I'm sorry, least bad case scenario. Um, she gets sick and all of these animals hurt each other. Uh, worst case scenario. The cats come together. They unify. They start planning. They take over Indonesia. Then they head south to Australia. Now I know what you're thinking, right? Australia? Yeah. They don't have guns and they already lost once to emus. They lost to emus. Now, once the cat overlords have taken over Australia, Australia is full of deadly and dangerous animals. The drop bear, dragons, and there are dingoes, and they eat babies. I just hope that they satisfy their quest for domination in Australia because if they all come together, no one can stop them. No one. All right, I would like to go from this terrifying story about our future cat overlords to another wildlife story. Thousands of 10 inch penis fish washed up on a California beach. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I would like to point out that they are not fish, nor are they penises, supposedly. They are actually called Fat innkeeper worms. Allow me to show you a picture. So the reason why they are called fat innkeepers 
as well as penis fish is they like to bury themselves they like to cr dig into holes and the tip the mushroom headed tip will shoot out mucus to create a sticky net to catch things that to eat and then it will pull that back in and then through its on the scrotum end to get rid of its waste it will shoot out with a jet of water all the uh, stuff it doesn't want to keep so it creates a u-shaped uh, uh, burrow and because nothing wants to eat the penis because it's very chewy and tastes bad the reason why they call it the fat innkeeper is because crabs will move into the hole where the penis is so the fat innkeeper creates perfect home for crabs now this is a thing that you know what I really want to know is these are only on the uh, west pacific coast on the pacific coast of the united states and northern mexico um does that part of the world get blowfish too <laughs> all right so that was four or five news stories uh i hope you enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed making it and Please remember to check out the Scrolls of Light Coven. Interesting channel. Now, if you have anything you would like me to discuss, a news article or something to react to, or just random silliness or memes, I don't care. I don't have much to do. You know, between me, the bird, and the turtle, it's just me and Panda coordinating clothes. Well, that, and of course, uh, no, no, actually that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, comment, and remember, when the cat overlords come, gather cucumbers. Trust me.